New information tonight on a shooting that killed a police officer in New Jersey. 23-year-old Melvin Santiago is the first Jersey City officer to die in the line of duty since July of 2009. The suspect in the case is also dead tonight after reportedly telling a witness he was, quote, going to be famous. CBS 2's Steve Langford is live in Jersey City with more. Steve? This Walgreens, the scene of an apparent ambush early this morning. A young cop who'd been on the force for just seven months shot to death right here. Melvin, what's the best kid you want? You want you, you. Officer Melvin Santiago's stunned stepfather, barely I mean, able to speak through his grief. The 23-year-old ambushed, responding to what was initially reported as an armed robbery at Walgreens on Jersey City's west side. His fellow police officers honoring their slain comrades Sunday morning as his body was driven under police escort. The mayor says 27-year-old suspect Lawrence Campbell attacked the store's armed security guard. Campbell? who had a knife with him, then assaulted the security officer, taking the security officer at Walgreens' weapon. The now armed suspect made no robbery attempt, police say, but instead waited outside the store for cops to arrive, even allegedly telling a witness he was sorry for attacking the security guard, adding, though, that the witness should watch the news later because he, the suspect, would be famous. Campbell approached the police vehicle at close range and fired into the vehicle with the door open, striking Officer Melvin Santiago in the head. They ready to shoot. Campbell then fired at police backup, according to cops, failing to hit two more officers who returned fire, killing the gunman. They just took a bit piece of my heart. He was full of life. He was really full of life. When you see him, he'll make you laugh. You got to laugh when you see Melvin. He was something about his smile. Alex McBride recalls his son's great smile and enormous pride in being a police officer. Santiago's mother is both grief-stricken and angry. My son he was 23 years old and he was a good boy and he didn't deserve to get a bullet in his head for no reason. He was just doing his job. The young officer's stepfather telling me he got a phone call today from the mayor of Jersey City expressing his condolences for a loss almost certainly felt across this city. Live in Jersey City, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. Steve, thank you. And police say the gunman was one of three suspects in another recent murder. Tonight, Jersey City police say they've stepped up the search for one of those suspects identified as Daniel Wilson. It's not clear whether that search is what sparked this morning's chain of events.